And what is up, Panther fans? We are back here on Porum Panthers Radio. So the pa the Porum boys just won their first game, the first game of the day, their first game of the season against at the, the Oaks Mission Warriors by the score of 53 to 29. Uh, in just a few minutes, the Porum Lady Panthers will take on the Holbert Lady Riders. We still, I think we still got a long time to tip off. We're going to take a break. Keep it right here on Porum Panthers Radio.
What's up? We're back. We're just now about to get to the starting lineups. Okay. Looks like the starting lineup for the Panthers will be Savannah Makeham, Danielle Barnes, Mallory Barnes, and Emery Arnold. Now the starting and the starting lineups for Holbert appear to be double zero Corinne Davis. Number 11, Callie Brave. No, number 35, Allison Cole. Number 3, Lily Brown. And number... And number 30, Savannah Hamby. And you can hear how loud it is in Panther Fieldhouse tonight. Kenley Hoke, it was the other one. Okay, I think I figured out how to do split screen. So it looks like... So Savannah Makeham will jump it up against Callie Brave. And the tip is won by the Lady Panthers as Mallory Barrett gets it off the glass. Rebounded by Brave. Goes top of the key. She is going to be fouled hard there. And the foul will be on Danielle Barnes. That is her first. And Callie Brave will go to the line for the Lady Riders. And she makes the first one. Second free throw on the way, and it's good. So Mallory Barrett will bring it up top of the key. Barrett gets it to make him. Make him back to Barrett. Now back to Hoke it, now to make him. Now Barrett, Hoke it, takes the three, it's off the mark. Rebounded by... Oh wow, I'm losing... And a traveling violation. A traveling violation and... It'll be Lady Panther ball once again. Sorry about that. So Lady Panther ball. Make him. Gets it to Barrett. Now back to Barnes. Now to make him. Now to ball or hoke it. Barnes for three. Off the mark. Uh oh, ball is loose. And it is a jump ball.
So it will be Lady Riders Ball once again. So the Brown gets it intercepted by Mallory Barrett. She goes up and under. Rebound by Arnold. No good and Brave with the rebound brings it top of the key. Brave will take a three. It is air ball. And now Lady Panther ball as Barrett will bring it up top of the key. Barrett will get it to Hoke it. Now to make him. Now to Barrett. Now to Arnold, but had it blocked away by. It looked like Brave blocked it away. And now has it poked away. Daniel Barnes receives it. Now back to Barrett, and we're going to get a traveling violation. Lady Riders Bowl. And so Brown will bring it up to the top of the court. Now to Hamby. And now tipped away. And a foul call. And it looks like it will go on Danielle Barnes. Kaylee Lanning has checked in for Allison Cole. Hamby will inbound it to Brave. And that is going to be a backcourt violation. She went over and back. So Makeham inbounds it to Barrett, who's going to bring it up top of the key. Poke it. Has it. Gets it to Barrett. Barrett for three. Yes! And uh, she puts the Lady Panthers on the board. And it's now three to two. Hamby has it. Almost had it stolen away. And a traveling violation goes back to the Lady Panthers. So... Hoka inbounds it to Barrett, top of the key. Barrett gets it to Barnes. Now to Hoka. It. Barrett has it. Shoots it. She had it blocked and a foul called. And, and the foul will go against Callie Brave, number 11 for the Lady Riders. And Barrett will shoot two. The first one is no good. And the second one is no good. Rebounded by Davis. And a foul called. And it's gonna and it's gonna be a blocking call on Savannah Makeham. I guess her first and team foul number three. It's been a slow start for the Lady Panthers. Brown up the court and a traveling violation. Lady Panthers ball. And so Barrett will inbound. Hoke it, has it, gets it to Barnes. Now to Barrett. Now back to Hoke it. Now to Barnes again. Had it stolen away. Now it looks like Davis has it. 
Hamby. Now back to Brave. Now to Brown. Now to Lannon, but a traveling call. Zabry Pound has come into the game for Emory Arnold. Three minutes, four seconds left in the first quarter. Hokit gets it to make him. Now back to Hokit. Now out to Barrett. Gets it in there to Zabry Pound. Almost had it poked away and a foul is called. And it's against the Lady Riders. It will go against Hamby. So Zabry Pound at the line. First free throw is up and good. Second free throw, and it's good. Hamby, now to Brave. Off the mark, rebound by Savannah Makeham. She's marching it up the floor. And a charging foul, and an offensive foul is going to go against Makeham. That is her second foul. Team foul number four. And now Allie Bush has come into the game for Savannah Makeham. So a little bit of foul trouble early on for the Lady Panthers. Uh... Lannon brings it up the floor, deflected away by Allie Bush. But they are going to say it was last touched by Lannon, so Lady Panther ball. Barrett up, top of the key. Now to hoke it. Now back to Barnes. Barnes for three, wide left. Allie Bush with the rebound. And traveling, she moved, she took one step too many. Lily Chambers has come into the game for Savannah Hamby. Lannon will bring it inbounds. Gets it to Shanks. And a traveling call. Lady Panther ball. About a minute and 46 seconds left to go in the quarter. Barrett gets it to Barnes. Now to Barrett. Barrett takes the shot. Wide left. Zabry pound. No good. Gets it again. Now to Barrett. And a foul called. And the foul will go on Allie Bush. And Emery Arnold has come back into the ball game. Brave has it. Gets it to Lannon for three. And then she swishes that. Can you go around, please? Thank you. Sorry about that. Barrett brings it up to the top of the key. Now back out to Barnes. Now to Pound. Now she gets it to Arnold. Arnold throws it up. Wide left. And Pound gets it. Barrett gets it in the Arnold. Goes. And a travel. It's going to be Lady Riders Bull. So Brown gets it to, and that is going to be out of bounds. Her foot was on the line. Brown touched it last. 
Barrett's going to bring it up top of the key. Now to hoke it. Barnes has it. Now to Arnold. Now to Barrett. Driving, kicking, takes the shot, and it's good. But three seconds left. Gets it to Shanks. She throws it up, and it is no good. And we've reached the end of the first. Porum 7, Holbert 5. We're going to take a break. Keep it right here on Porum Panthers Radio. And we are back, about to begin the second quarter. Let me make sure my mic is turned on this time. Okay, thank God, yes it is. Oh, I just messed up all my apps. So, so Makeham will inbound it to Barrett. Barrett, top of the key, swings it back out to Barnes. Now to Barrett, she takes the shot, it goes off the glass. And it's going to go out of bounds, Lady Ryder ball. Oh, eh. Brave has it. Now back to Lannon for three. It's no good. Shanks gets the rebound. And stolen away by Savannah Makeham. She's on the fast break. And a foul. She will go to the line for two. And the foul will go on Brave. It is her second foul. Team foul number three. And she nails the first one. Second free throw on the way. And it is good. Oh! And Davis has checked in for uh, Brave. Davis gets it to Lannon, stolen away by Pound. So Makeham brings it back up the floor. Barnes has it. Gets it to Barrett. Barrett gets it into Arnold. The shot was blocked and a foul on the play. And, and the foul will go against Carly Carey, number 42 for the Lady Riders. First free throw is good. And so the second free throw is coming. On the way. And she nails them both. Oh, stolen away by Barrett. 
Barrett gets it to Barnes. Now back to Arnold. It is wide left. Makeham has it. It was rebounded by number 33, Crystal Brown. Barrett gets it in to Arnold. Goes up and under. Gets it back to Makeham. That is off the glass. Makeham puts it back up and under. Oh! Danielle Barnes with the deflection. But she is going to get the foul. It looks like Davis will toss it in for the Lady Riders. Uh, Shanks has it. Oh, Chambers had it, and a foul and a blocking foul called. And it looks like it will go against Emery Arnold, and now we are in one and one as Chambers goes to the line. And she nails the first one. And she nails them both. Barrett gets it to Arnold. Now to make him. Had it stolen away. And they're going to say Makeham touched it last, so it is Lady Rogers' ball. Chambers will inbound it. Lannon gets it to Sh Davis. Davis tried to hit the shot. It goes off the backboard. Makeham has it. Brings it up. And make them lost it out of bounds. Yeah, it is. It was last touched by Chambers, I believe. Barnes tosses it in. Arnold gets it up. And it will be out of bounds. Last touched by make them. Davis tosses it in the Lannon. Lannon gets it all the way to Chambers. Davis has it. It is off the rim and out of bounds. Lady Panthers take it the other way. Got about five minutes left to go in the first half. 13 to 7 is the score. Barrett shoots it, airballs it. And out of bounds. It's going the other way. Oh. About lost my headset there. So Davis gets it in the landing. Now to Carey. Now back to Chambers. Gets it to Lannan. Now to Carey again. Barnes with the rebound. Barnes is going to take it all the way. Goes off the backboard. And now there is a scrum for the ball. It is a jump ball. And it will be Lady Rogers' ball. Oh, now stolen by Hokett. Gets it to Barnes. Barnes gets it to make him, goes up, draws the foul, and she will go to the line. And it looks like the foul will go on Carly Carey of the Lady Riders. Oh. And make him makes the first one. So the second free throw is on the way. And it's no good. But Makeham rebounds it. 
Makem gets it to Crystal Brown, but it was deflected. Langing has it. Stolen away by Arnold. Gets it to Makem. She's going to go all the way. Count it and the foul. Savannah Makem draws the contact, gets the foul, and will go to the line and for a chance to make it a three-point play. So the free throw is coming. And it is no good. But the rebound was caught by Arnold. So she will go to the line. It looks like the foul will go on Lannon. First free throw is on the way, and it is good. It is now a 10-point ball game. And she misses the first one. Almost had it, almost poked it away. Oh, nearly poked it away again. Gets it to Shanks. And it looks like that will be a jump ball. Lady Panthers will have the possession. So th about three and a half minutes to go in the fir first half. Barrett will bring it up. Top of the key. Had it deflected away. Now the ball was recovered. And now it's a jump ball. And it is going to be lit go the other way. Stolen away by Barrett. Bounce passes to Makeham. Gets in and it is good. 3.09 left to play in the first half. Oh, stolen away again by Arnold. Gets it to Makeham and Barrett. Count the basket and the foul. Lady Panthers have emerged on a run. I... Free throw is on the way. And it is no good. And a foul is called. And it will go against Emory Arnold. And they are in one and one. 255 left to play in the first half. And that'll put Callie Brave at the line for the Lady Riders. She misses the free throw. Rebound by Makeham. Makeham takes it. Goes all the way. And it is good. Landon gets it to Stillwell. Will. Now Chambers goes all the way, Shanks rather, goes all the way and gets it to go. Barrett has it, looking, looking, looking. Now gets it to Hokit. Now to Barnes. Back to Barrett for three, yes! And now Langan overthrows it. Barnes recovers. Makeham has it. Gets it to Barrett. Takes the shot. And it is good. And a timeout called by Holbert. We got about 157 left to go in the second. Porham is holding on to a 28-9 lead. Keep it right here on Porham Panthers Radio.
And we are back. A minute and 57 left to go, and the Lady Panthers are holding on to a 28 to 9 lead. And it looks like Lannan will inbound for the Lady Riders. Langan gets it to Chambers. Chambers with the double team. And a jump ball. And it and it'll be it'll go to the Lady Panthers as Kinley Hokett got in there and tied her up for the jump ball. Makeham gets it to Barrett. Barrett drives, kicks, now to Hokett. Hokett gets it to Barrett. Gets it to make him, and it is good. Up and under. Shanks has it. Shoots it off the glass. Make him rebounds. Make him. Draws the foul. And so it is a shooting foul. She will go to the line. Looks like both teams are in a one and one. First free throw on the way, and it is good. And Brown will come back into the game for Brave. And so second free throw is on the way. And it is good. Lady Panthers Nelly 32 to 9. Kingley Hokett got the steal. But unfortunately is going to go out of bounds. Lady Riders retain possession. Lannon gets it to Brown. Now tosses it to Shanks. Get Intended the pass for Stillwell. Now Makeham gets it to Barrett. Goes off and under. Now Sav gets Savannah Makeham got the second chance points. And so Chambers had nowhere to throw it. Threw it out of bounds. Threw it off of Barrett, I believe. Brett Chambers gets it to Lannon. Now to Shanks. It's off the backboard. Brown gets it. Chambers gets it out to Shanks for three. No good. Make him with the rebound. Make him gets it all the way to Barrett. No good. But there it Barnes got it. No good. Barrett got it. It was no good again. And 19 seconds left, and we got a foul call. And it will be one and one. And the foul will go against Danielle Barnes. That is going to be her third foul. So she will have to come out. Allie Bush checks back in. And she missed the free throw. Makeham gets it. Runs it up the floor. Makeham gets it up and it is good. Brown. And she is going to be called for traveling. 4.5 left. Lady Panthers will have the last shot. Brown. Oh. Makeham takes the last second three, and it is no good. And it is off the mark, and we have reached the half. Lady Panthers holding on to a 36-9 lead. We're going to take a break. Keep it right here on Porn Panthers Radio.
everyone what is up guys we are back We're about to begin the third quarter where the lady panthers are holding on to a 36 to 9 lead over the holbert lady riders it looks like the lady riders will get the ball to start brave will toss it in oh Brown throws it to Brave, now back to Brown. Gets it to Hamby. Hamby stolen away by Barrett. Barrett gets it to Hokett. Now Barrett for three. Off the mark, Barnes grabs it. Barrett, now to Hokett. Now to Barnes. Now to Sav, almost stolen away, but Barnes recovers it. Sav gets it back to Barrett, and she bangs it home for three. Brave has it up top of the key, throws it up, no good. It is a jump ball. Lady Panthers get it. And so Barrett has it, bringing it up top of the key. Make him. Now back to Hokett for three. Off the mark. Brave gets the rebound. Arnold almost had the steal. Brown takes the shot. It's no good. Brave got it. And she is fouled. And the foul will go against Brown. No, it will go against Barrett. My bad. I was thinking the other team for some reason. And that free throw rattles out. So 0 for 2 at the line on that one. Makeham takes it. Too strong. Almost poked free. Brave brings it up. Top of the key. Shoots it. It goes in and out. Makeham got the rebound. Now to Arnold. Now back to Makeham. Makeham has it. Gets it all the way to Barnes, or she'll take a three. And she was fouled. She will go to the line with a chip for three. I got to tell you, that's the first time in a while I have seen a foul on a three-pointer. She misses the first one. Second free throw is on the way. She misses the second one. And now Lannon will come back in for Cole. Third free throw on the way, and she nails the third one. One for three on that try. So Brave has it now, deflected, but Hamby got it, and it is out of bounds, last touched by Hamby, and she, and it'll be Lady Panther's ball, Barrett will toss it in, hands it to Barnes, now hands off to Barrett, now out of bounds, Last touch by Barrett. Intended to pass that to Emory Arnold. Lannon is going to bring it up the floor. Poked away. Makeham gets it. Too strong off the glass. Hamby's got it now. Gets it to Brave. Fast break. And that one is good.
Barrett up at half court, top of the key. Gets it to Barnes. Now back to Makeham. Wanted to take the three. Makeham driving, kicking, poke it. Now to Barrett. Off the mark, but Makeham gets the rebound. And so Zabry Pound will check in for Emory Arnold. So, Brave. Davis got it to Brave. Brave takes the three. It is nowhere close. Rebounded by Makeham. Makeham up top of the key. Now to Barrett, gets it out to Hoke it, where she'll take a three. Is way off the mark. Barnes gets it. Make him. Gets it to Hoke it again. Now to Barrett. Takes the three. Rattles out. Pound almost had it. Oh, stolen. Goes right to Hoke it. Now to Barrett. Looking, looking, looking. Now gets it to Barnes. In and out. Rebounded by Brave. Oh, stolen away by Barrett. Gets it to Makeham. Now to Barnes. And a lot of contact there. Foul will go on Hamby. And Barnes will go to the line. That'll be the second on Hamby and team foul number two. And she misses the first. And so Allie Bush will come in for Kingley Hokett and Lily Chambers will come in for Savannah Hamby. Second free throw on the way and that one is good. Now Emma Wright will come in for Danielle Barnes. We'll get our first look at the sophomore tonight. Oh, stolen away by Makeham. Goes back up. And that one is good. Oh, Barrett almost stole it away. Double to Emma. Barrett and Wright double team Brown. We're going to get a timeout by the Lady Riders. 3.15 left to go in the third quarter. We're going to take a break. Leave it right here on Porn Panthers Radio. And we are back. 3.15 left in the third. Brown inbounds. Oh. A tablet wouldn't turn on. Oh, stolen by Pound. Wright has it. Oh, she almost got double teamed there, but gets it to make him. Make him drives. Gets it to Pound. Throws it up. No good. B Allie Bush got it. A lot of contact on that play. And <clears throat> the foul will go on Callie Brave. That is her fourth. Team foul number three. She, Allie Bush misses the first one. And so, Sophia Shanks will come in for Callie Brave. Meanwhile, who did she go in for? 12 out there. Who did she go in for? Oh, 
and Cody Stewart will come in for Savannah Makeham. I had to get some confirmation on that. Allie Bush, however, did make the second free throw. Over through, landing over through it. Pass was intended for Shanks, but it will go out of bounds. Barrett has it. <clears throat> right. Passes it to Stewart. Now gets it to Pound. And it rattles in. So Langan's going to carry it up court. Davis has it, stolen away, but Brown recovers it. Ooh, and, and a blocking foul called against Allie Bush. That is her second. Team foul number two. Looking, looking, looking. Chambers is looking. Got it to Davis, now to Lannon. Double teamed. And Allie Bush almost got the steal. Look, okay, is all is Lady Rogers ball. To Langing will get it. Mallory Barrett deflected it and is gonna go out of bounds. It still remains Lady Rogers ball. Langan tosses it into Brown. Oh, now to Chambers. She comes nowhere close to hitting that three. And a and a jump ball. And it's still Lady Rogers ball. So Davis will toss it in. To Langan. Langan avoids the double team. And a foul called. This one will go on. I can't tell who it went on. Shanks takes the three, doesn't hit. And a jump ball. It will be Lady Panthers ball. Kylie Smith has checked in for Corinne Davis. <clears throat> hey, I'm going to have to get some cough drops later. A minute and seven left in the third quarter. Barrett's bringing it up the floor. Gets it to Allie Bush. Way off the mark. Gets it. Swings back out to Barrett. Now she shoots. Pound got it. Ke she missed it, but she got the contact. And so the foul, the foul will go on Kaylee Lang, and that is her second team foul number four. Zabri Pound goes to the line, and she misses that one. Forty six to eleven the score. Pound shoots it and this one is good. Forty seven to eleven. Langan got it to Shanks and she hits the three. Well actually check mark check mark check that it was her foot was on the line, so they'll say it's a two. It looks like Riley Miller has checked into the game for the Lady Panthers for Mallory Barrett. It's out of bounds. Lady Rogger ball. Brown gets it to Langan. Now to Shanks. Voids the double team. And a foul on the pass.
And the foul will go on Cody Stewart. Gets it to Lang and now to uh I believe Kylie Smith and she missed it bad. Lady Rogers ball. It looks like Allie Bush touched it last. And Smith will take it. She missed that one bad. And at the end of the third, the Lady Panthers have been dominant. We're going to take a break. 47 to 13, your score. We'll be right back on Porham Panthers Radio. And we are back. Start of the fourth quarter. Lady Panthers are holding on to a 47-13 lead. And she has that stolen away by number 11, Riley Miller. She missed that one. Allie Bush recovers it. Emma Wright for three. Misses that one. Crystal Brown gets it. No good. And there is a fight for the ball as a jump ball has just been called. And it'll be Lady Panthers' ball. And so, Dylan Stillwell has checked in for Kaylee Langan as Allie Bush got that shot to go. I'm not adding the score. Okay, now they just did. Brown has it. Stolen away by Allie Bush. And she lost it out of bounds. It goes right back to Holbert. So still will toss it in. Chambers has it. Gets double teamed. And traveling. It'll be Lady Panthers' ball. So Stewart's going to bring it up the floor, gets it to Miller, now to Brown, and it is going to be a travel. I do not at all agree with that one, got to be honest with you there. So Stillwell's bringing it up to the floor, Brown gets it, Emma Wright had it poked away, and it's going to be out of bounds, it is pouring ball. Stewart inbounds it to Miller. Stewart gets it to Wright. And Wright lost it out of bounds. It's Holbert Ball once again. And Brave has checked into the game for Brown. Brave has it, but Brown deflects it. Wright's going to bring it up the floor. Now to Stewart. And she draws a lot of contact. And the foul will go on Callie Brave. That is her fifth foul. So she is done for the night. That is foul number five for Callie Brave. And Cody Stewart misses the first one. And she makes the first, second one. It is now 50 to 13. And now Wright got it, gets it to Stewart. 
She goes up and under, and that one is good. 52 to 13. Lanning intended to pass it to Chambers, but it is deflected by Wright. Lanning has it. Stewart almost stole it away. Now to Stillwell. Gets it back to Lannon. Gets it to Chambers. Misses the three. And there's a fight for the ball. And they're going to say it was last touched by Riley Miller. And now... Gracie Tiger has checked into the ball game for Allie Bush. Kang Langing, looking, looking, looking. Emma Rod almost deflecting it. Shanks for three. And she missed that one. And a foul called. And the foul. And the foul was on Kylie Smith. She is done for the night. That was her fifth foul. So Corinne Davis will check back into the ball game with 3.29 left to go in the fourth. Stewart brings it up the floor. Gets it to Brown. That go She goes up for the score. Score is now 54-13. to 13. Davis gets it to Chambers. Chambers double team. Def de almost stolen by Crystal Brown. And a jump ball as Riley Miller reached in for the tie up. St it'll still be Holbert Ball. Smith gets it to Chambers. Stolen by Riley Miller. And now stolen back by Chambers. And Cody Stewart almost got the steal. It is going to be out of bounds. Riley Miller gets the steal again. Gracie Tiger gets it to go. It is now 56 to 13. Davis almost lost it, but got it to Chambers. Now back to Lannon. Davis will take the three. She misses that rebound by Miller. Miller gets it to Brown. Crystal Brown. Miller drives, gets it to Crystal Brown, and that is good. Score is now 58 to 13. Oh, Lanning had it poked away. Chambers goes up, misses. Davis puts it back. And now quite a bit of substitutions. Fifty-eight to fifteen with about a minute and eight to go. Don't forget, Lady Panthers will play Panama tomorrow night at seven ten. And a foul call. So it looks like Emma Wright has checked in for the Leggy Panthers, and Morgan Rawson has checked in. And Emma Wright gets the steal. She's going to take it all the way back. And that is going to be a travel. And it looks like they are going to run the clock.
Davis takes the three, misses, rebounded by Carey. Hamby gets it, takes the three, and she gets that to go. Score is 58 to 18, and it looks like the Lady Panthers may dribble it out. Cody Stewart gets it in the Morgan Ross thing, but it looks like she was fouled. And the foul will go on Smith. I th Stewart takes the three. It is no good. And that is the ball game. Your final score, Porham 58, Holbert 18. And that has been a wrap for tonight. You can catch us back here tomorrow night at 710 as the, your Porham Lady Panthers will take on the Panama Lady Razorbacks. For Porham Panthers Radio, this is Hunter Shepard, and I am out.